Hello everybody, this is TT Lemon, and what I have here is two sandals. This one is expandable, this one not so, and they're both super compact, this one being the smallest design I've seen for a button operated one, and this one here is the smallest design I've seen for an expandable one. So, this one here can be expanded up to three, I've just got it two here so you've got a nice two by two entrance. So I just hit the button and it'll open hit the button again and it closes same with that one now the way this works is pretty cool so what happens is if I do this with the lever when I pull the lever down this line is going to power so these pistons are going to come up and this T flip flop here is going to trigger and it's going to turn off these top pistons so this happens As you can see these ones come on and then they drop down so then when I then release the lever this turns off and brings them back and the double extension is complete. Now going up is the same but just reversed so now I'm going to power the bottom ones and then this T flop flop is going to fire and then power the top ones like that but then because these ones top ones are already powered by this redstone here in that block when I release the lever these are just going to drop back and these can be left in place and this one doesn't retract because there's a block there which is powering it. And now with the expandable one it's the exact same but the principle is slightly simpler at the back. So pull the lever, uh, bottoms come on, T flip flop fires and powers the top ones, this line of repeaters. Then when you depower it all the bottom pistons drop down. Now I'll do it again. These are going to drop down because the T flip flops fired and then these will extend up to grab them and then they'll depower. So the same thing just happens with the button but it just happens faster, like this. And that's it. And now you probably should be able to build it from what we see here. You just need a redstone line, a uh, dropper facing up, dropper facing out and then around here. But if not I'm going to show you how to build it right now. To get started off with for our first door with the 2x2 two two opening you're going to need your frame for your door then you can have two sands below that and then a normal piston and a, then a sticky piston and the same on both sides so that's four sand, two normal pistons, two sticky pistons so that's going to be needed for the first part and then what we need to do is put the redstone around that to make it work so first of all we're going to need what I've got on my um, hotbar I'm going to want one button, two droppers, one hopper, six building blocks a piece of redstone and two comparators so, first of all, you're going to put two blocks on there with redstone on top to power the first um, pistons. Do you want a dropper facing up there, a dropper facing back over here, there, then a hopper going into that bottom dropper like that. You need to make sure it's facing into it. Then we're going to place a comparator like that on top of there. And it's going to go into a block, which then goes into some blocks in a pattern like that. I'm going to put another comparator there and a redstone there and that's how that part works last of all we just need to put something in there just a random item in there to make it work As you can see it's a bit broken at the moment but we put a button on and press it and oh, it doesn't quite fix itself anyway just replace your sand you got there and you'll be fine and it works and now some of you may be thinking that you could just put a button along here and fire it to make it work and as you can see like that it doesn't actually work because Minecraft is a bit derpy and the way hoppers and droppers works is a bit messed up so you have to have a repeater on your input like that it has to be a repeater going into those two so we're going to have a button there and that's how we're going to power it and that's the only way you can do it unless you've got a button on there of course now if you want to you can expand this one block further out so if I just take them out, we're going to place a sticky piston, normal piston, and then two sand up there. Then we can just extend that line and simply place a block there. And that's as wide as this version will go. So simply like that. Now, for our second design, which we can expand as far as we want, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to place a line across here, along the bottom pistons that's going to go into a dropper facing up 
I'll drop a facing across. And I'm going to get a hopper, put it there, which then goes into a comparator like that. So when this spits out an item, it will go over here and be sucked up by the dropper. And button there. So that's how it's working at the moment. Now, again, we're going to put one item in there. I'll just put a hopper in there. As you can see, this acts as a T flip flop, powers on, powers off. And now, because this will only give a very weak pulse, like that, we need to extend that pulse with a repeater, and then bring the signal up and across, like this, just build around there, and just place comparators or repeaters along there, and just bring a line of redstone and that power them. Now as you can see, there's powering roll, just do that, sandal break, and just put that back, and it's all done. Now with this one you can expand up to 14 I think conventionally and once you get past there which I don't think I'm going to do you can just do a little bit of a trick with some repeaters and you can expand it even further. So that's it if you like these designs give it a like if you want to see more of my future content subscribe and if you have any questions ask them in the comments. Thank you for watching and this has been TT Lemon.